The beautiful land of Espana, the home of picturesque landscapes, excellent cuisine, and men in tight pants. These men, the brave matadors, risk their lives for the sole purpose of entertaining the general populace. This entertainment, widely popular throughout many Spanish-speaking countries, is known as La Corrida del Toro, or La Fiesta Brava. The bullfight. It has been described as an art. It has been labeled the cruel, inhumane slaughter of helpless beasts. But today, our excellent crew of educational practitioners from the BBC will guide you this incredible journey to discover the truth behind La Fiesta Brava. I, Lucius P. Nesbitt, will be your guide to this scholastic journey into the lands of the spine. What a wonderful day for La Fiesta Brava. Ah oh, yes, now this is very interesting. This desfile, or parade, takes place before every Fiesta Brava. Sometimes, girls pass out flores, or flowers, to the audience. Oh, that's me. What in the world am I doing out there? in the building, anyway. Oh, look at that! Ahora cinco de la tarde. It's time to start La Fiesta Brava. La Fiesta Brava normally starts at five o'clock. Before we get into the action, however, why don't we take a visit with Manolo to hear our Mexican point of view of La Fiesta Brava. Hola. Thank you so much, Manolo. Oh, look at this. El Toro has just entered the arena. The cape that the decorative dude in the ring is holding is called a capa. He is doing a Veronica, which is presenting the cape in front of the bull. Watch as he continues to carry out passes with the magenta capa before the premier tercio of La Fiesta Brava. Oh, excellent. It's time for the Premier Tercio, or the first third of La Fiesta Brava. The first member of the quadrille, the Picador, is now out in the ring. The long, sharp, stick-like, lance-like thing the Picador is stabbing El Toro with is called a pica. Stabbing El Toro in the neck weakens it, inhibits its ability to throw its massive horns around. Indeed. Now it is time for Segundo Tercio, the second third of La Fiesta Brava. This is when the three banderilleros go flying at El Toro, attempting to stab two decorative but deadly banderillas into El Toro's neck to further weaken it. Ah, look! at the incredible skill and precision as the banderillero dodges the horns and stabs the banderillas into the toro. Oh, that was a good one. What a ridiculous attempt! Obviously, that was not a very good attack on El Toro. Let's see what the last banderillero can do. Quite an interesting technique, I'd say. Well, that was very interesting. 
Thanks again, Manilo. Now it's finally time for the Tercer Tercio, the final third of La Fiesta Bravo. In this part of La Fiesta Bravo, the Matador finally comes out to finish up El Toro. Matador will use an estilque or sword to stab the Toro at the Hora de Verdad, or the moment of truth. Here is the Matador himself. Watch as he effortlessly taunts El Toro. The red piece of cloth that he is holding is called the Muleta. It is obviously much smaller than the Kappa, and the passes are done with the right hand. These types of passes are called the Rechazos. The Estoque, or sword, is concealed in the Muleta. Oh, he's going to do it! Oh, that was an incredible fight! Now that El Toro is killed, its meat will be sold fresh just outside the stadium. Since the Matador performed exceptionally, he will be rewarded with an oreja, or the ear of the bull, by El Presidente of the Bullring. Thank you for tuning in to La Fiesta Brava. This is Lucius P. Nesbitt from the BBC reporting. Make sure you tune in to the Danger of False Advertising. Herbert Schnackowski after this. Thank you and have a good day. Why am I always the announcer? Why am I always the announcer? Because you're good at it. I couldn't Lionel have my Because Lionel's the bloody boom operator. He doesn't know a thing about acting. This is ridiculous. I'm going out for some tea.